Here, Dr. Rizwanullah is a national professor in the Department of Oral Biology. His paper is on publication trends in Ramadan and health are biometric analysis of top cycle articles. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Rizwanullah from the Institute of Oral Health Sciences. Although I am a dentist by training, but my interest is in the progress of research. So uh, we have no potential financial interest related with this study. So uh, I'll be talking about the publication trends related to the Ramzan in health research. Uh, uh, we have done a bibliometric analysis. So. The Muslim population in the world, there are 1.8 billion Muslims, and that makes around 24% of the world's population, and this is an estimate. So uh, the Muslims, they need certain answers, especially when it comes to their faith, and Ramadan, or faith practices, I mean, and Ramadan is one of the main thing. So we have done a bibliometric an analysis. So what is a bibliometric analysis? So a bibliometric analysis is basically the quantification of research, like citation and in a specific field. Uh, through bibliometric analysis, we can also quantify future research directions, like in future, in which area we have to emphasize. And secondly, we can also see the research gaps, like which areas need more further research. So what are our methods in this study? So we have, done, we have selected the top cited articles from the Web of Science. Uh, as you know, that is one of the popular databases. We have used search terms that is called Ramadan and health or fast. I have kept a static on fast because it will search both for fast and the fasting. Uh, and these search words will be, uh, will be uh, in the title, abstract and keywords. So uh, included articles, we have included articles that are published from 2004 till 2019 that will make roughly around more than, slightly more than 15 years. And there's a reason that why we have selected 20, from 2000 and onwards that I'll explain later. But two investigators, they have independently reviewed the full text of all the articles, uh, all top articles that appeared in our search and we have decided whether to include or exclude an article. So the next is the flowchart that basically described our methodology. Uh, we have searched Web of Science, and we have retrieved 740 articles from 2004 onwards, till uh, June 2019. So we have organized the documents from highly cited to the lowest cited, and this is an automatic function in the Web of Science. Uh, we have read 117 articles because we want to reach a number of 100 articles. And we have excluded, during this journey, we have excluded 15 articles because they are somehow appeared in our search, but they are not related to Ramadan and health. Because as you know, there is fasting in other religions as well, like Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism. So they somehow appeared in our search because the authors, they have used the terms Ramadan and health in the, in the title or the abstract. So finally, we have got to a number that is 102 because two articles, they have the same citation count. So we have done the data analysis through statistical package for social sciences software. And additionally, we have used a new software that is called visualization of similarity software developed by the University of uh, Leiden, Netherlands. So the results are quite interesting. I'm not going to show you the list of 100 articles because that will be very exhaustive for you. But the thing is, here you can see diabetes management, diabetes management, diabetic patient education. It means our top 100 articles, they are mostly related with diabetes. Secondly, the next five, diabetes management. So it means uh, the majority, what I have seen, that majority of the top 100 cited articles, they are mainly related with various areas of diabetes. But there are some other interesting areas like physical performance, physical performance related to the sports sciences as well. So. Now, we have confirmed our, this finding, like majority of the articles are related to diet, diabetes management. So we have done an author keyword analysis. So here you can see, uh, this is the area. This area is mainly related to the sports sciences. You can see, although the, this is, font, font is quite a small, this is soccer players, physical performance. So the main, this area relates the main keywords, the majority of the keywords in those papers here, the main 
theme is the sports sciences. This area is related to the body weight, cholesterol, women. So this area is related to the blood parameters and related to the women and child health. Now this area, you can see mellitus, it means diabetes mellitus. This is management. These are the diabetic drugs. So this area, it relates with the management or the education uh, in various disciplines of diabetes. So these are the three main areas. Number one, sports sciences, women health, and various blood parameters. And this area is related with the diabetes. In me it means in the top 100 articles, th these are the three main areas that are discussed. Now, these are the prominent authors who are extensively publishing in diabetes related to the Ramadan and health. So these authors, they are mainly uh, publishing in the field of sports sciences. So they are, these are the two different groups and they are collaborating with each other. There's another author over here and he loves to work individually. And here, these two authors, usually they publish with each other. So it, 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 they basically, these maps, they will tell you the behavior of the authors, like whether they, whether they love to work alone or whether they, work, they love to work in groups. Now, we have done the main centers that are publishing related to the Ramazan in health. And the main center, the, the center with the most prolific center is the National Center for Medicine and Science in Sports in Tunisia that has published around seven articles out of our 102 articles. The next is the King Saud University, Saudi Arabia, and the next is the Lofberg University that is in the United Kingdom. These two centers, they are mainly publishing in the field of the sports sciences. Now, now these are the countries that are contributing to the Ramadan and health research. Uh, now, the UK, Turkey, Tunisia, and Saudi Arabia, they have contributed to around 50% of the papers that are included in our analysis. Now, the Pakistan is here with two papers, uh, among the top 100 papers, I must say, not among the 700 papers, two papers. And these two papers are contributed by the Bakai Medical University, uh, uh, by Professor, Ab one of the papers from pro by Professor Abdul Basit and Professor Yaqub Ahmadani, and another paper was from Bakai Medical University by former professor of physiology, Professor Kamar Aziz. There are papers from Rep Islamic Republic of Iran, and one of the papers is by distinguished professor uh, who, is, who is here. So these trends are interesting. There are nine papers from other countries, and they have contributed one paper. That's why I have merged it together and showed it as nine papers. Now, the discussion, in this increase in research on Ramazan and health from 2004 onwards. And the reason may be because of these conferences that are organized and those motivate the researchers to publish more on Ramazan and health. There are various focus groups or various societies, especially in diabetes, that are working on Ramazan. And there's a lot of pharmaceutical funding, although we have not addressed this in our current study. Majority of the articles is our original studies, and this is quite uh, uh, surprising because as compared to the other studies that uh, there, there are a lot of more review papers. So in, this, in, the di in Ramazan and health, there are more original studies. Diabetes and sports sciences are the two prominent research areas. Every study has its own limitations, so our study has a lot of limitations that I know because we have categorized the article according to the citation and it is not always fair to categorize the articles based on citation because sometimes the citations are because of a negative reason as well. Plus, we have used only one database that is called Web of Science. And Web of Science, although the standards of Web of Science are high, maybe we have not searched the PubMed or, others, or other databases. So maybe the number is more higher than 734 or so. So in summary, the number of articles pertaining to Ramazan and health are increasing every year. Our research introduces the new researcher to the influential researchers, institutions, and countries around the world so they can further collaborate with them. Uh, there's need of more closer collaboration between various countries, institutions, and authors when we talk about the research uh, related to Ramazan and health. So I'll not take more, ti your more time. Thank you very much. You can follow us on, or you can contact us through these links. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ishmael. Thank you very much for a very different type of presentation that we have made.